Hey, good afternoon everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're going to do a follow-up on that 300 amp hour Red Odo lithium iron phosphate battery. And if you follow the, the first video that I put out a few days ago on that, trying to see how it'll go running that refrigerator on 400 watts. These 400 watts are tied into it. And ever since we started this little experiment, we've had a lot of super dark rainy days mixed in with a lot of volcanic ash or vog in the air, blotting out the sun. So it hasn't been great solar conditions. And besides uh, not having great solar conditions, uh, the air quality is a little rough out here from time to time. Uh, causes a little coughing and lung and nose irritation. But anyway, the, the battery itself is doing great. The only thing that's lacking is recharging capabilities due to the conditions lately. So what we have right now on day five is we've got, here it is midday, we're down to 29.5% full on this 300 amp hour battery. And taking a look just to show you kind of what we're dealing with during these conditions out of that 400 watt panel or series of panels for 400 watts right now under those conditions I just showed you 50 watts coming in and if we go to the history I can show you that for the ever since I started the experiment which is right here where we can see that the battery was it had reached absorption and then was in float when I started that experiment and then the past few days you know right here I got 660 watt hours the next day 630 watt hours and then it's been dropping down steadily so here it was a much darker today today's even a way darker day so uh, having a little bit of hard time keeping up the refrigerator has been running 24 7 and now with 44 watts coming in off of a 400 watt array i'll show you so 44 watts coming in off that array the refrigerator is pulling 62 watts so I'm continuously sliding down and not getting up a you know a good charge now all of that being said if I was getting some decent Sun uh, I believe those 400 watts would be doing just fine but I'm kind of on the downhill run of it five days into it it's getting to you know be about as low as I want to get it you know I'm 29 percent full not going to catch much sun today and that refrigerator will keep running all throughout the night so by the time i wake up in the morning things are going to be looking uh, pretty low and this is the refrigerator we've been running five days straight on that battery it's that lg 20 cubic foot refrigerator freezer it's a very efficient ref refrigerator freezer and there I've got a watt meter on it so I can just tell by this side of it too yeah 60 watts so you can see while it's running it's just not pulling a lot of power but 24 7 it starts to add up and there I just clicked it over for the uh, five days that it's been running it's pulled 3.4 kilowatt hours and then if I go quickly back to my five day uh, average of what I've been pulling in on solar and add it up just kind of ballparking it without getting it exact I'm getting uh, I pulled in about 1.6 1.7 kilowatt hours so as you can see I'm sliding downwards and I'm getting to the point now where I'm thinking okay what am I going to do 
I hate to fire up a generator and I know that tomorrow the sun is supposed to make an appearance and I can probably get this battery at you know it might get to about 30 percent full today as you can see I'm only getting in off of the solar array uh, not even quite what it is taking to run that refrigerator right now so I'm going to continuously backslide this value here probably wouldn't change drastically by morning but it'd probably be get down to 20 percent or less and I really don't like to draw my uh, lithium iron phosphates down any lower than that and I'll show you what some of the others are doing too so the battery itself working just absolutely fine didn't expect anything less the only thing we've been lacking is some good solar power and taking a quick peek at some of the other systems this is that 48 volt battery it's running a freezer right now it's doing a little bit better it's got about uh what is it 600 watt string so it's pulling in about 150 watts right now this one's doing just fine and back here on the main house bank which are the chins uh what are we at 36.5 so everything is going down uh, not using a ton of power just normal regular day-to-day -day, whatever we would use but just not getting the conditions we need so everything's getting down and if that sun does make an appearance tomorrow everything will boost up really fast because like we've got a thousand watts of solar tied into this and if that sun would just hit it uh, we'd be in good shape but I'll show you what this looks like right here. What do we got coming in? And we've got, well, we're actually going down right now. So, yeah, it's going down at about, oh, a half an amp right now. So, you know, the what's being used in the house right now is more than the sun is putting back in so sometimes these are the conditions you have to deal with you know i always watch things very closely and try to avoid using a generator but we have some unusual conditions happening out here besides just dark and normal rainy we've got that volcano going off in the background causing a little disruption in the solar as well so what I think I'm going to try to do is try to eke out <clears throat> this little bit of power, uh, you know, getting down to that 30% and lower on everything. Uh, I'll try and eke it out throughout the night, hope for some good sunny conditions, which is looking like we have a possibility of tomorrow, just to avoid running that generator. If these drop uh well down uh, below 20 percent and then we don't get any good sun conditions uh, i'm going to have to resort to the generator which always grateful to have but i wait till the very last minute before i actually will fire that up and that's just what i want to do is keep this battery uh you know not drawn down much below that 20 percent level that's just my personal preference. It could go down much lower. It's not going to really hurt it any. But I just like to cycle them not much lower than that 20% and then get them charged back up. So got plenty of panels, just need the sunshine to peek through, <laughs> as I've said. So that's just how it goes sometimes. You just kind of work with what you got hope for sunshine getting some rain can taste the sulfur on my lips still so i know mixed in with all that rain and and really very dark conditions we got that vog rolling through here too a little bit of an irritant definitely so i will keep you guys uh, apprised of the situation and let you know if i had to fire up that generator but you know me, I'm going to 
re wait till the very last minute. <laughs> Always waiting for that sun to peek through. All right, catch you guys on the next one. Aloha. Yeah, getting darker and here comes the rain, even harder.